All right, all right. Back to sexism. <laughs> oh, okay, <Beneficial>. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, okay. so, like, uh, we had a cardboard baler, you okay. know, and when the cardboard baler would get full, um, you know, they would want us to empty it. No one ever did, except for me, you know, <laughs> usually. And so, like, it was kind of hard because you had to get, like, really thick, like, um, metal, like, twine or like wire or something like that oh. and you had to like you had to like take it and tie it and get it because if you didn't do it right then it would snap off and one time it snapped off and hit a guy in the eye and he lost his eye or something like that Ooh. you know it's you know just warehouse things you know like so you know like one time i was with her and like it the bailer needed to be uh, a bail needed to be made and she was all like oh well i'm not gonna do that that's for the men you know, and it's just like, what? What do you mean? I'm pretty sure, like, they, they expect all of us to do it. Like, I have seen women just be like, oh, could you get this for me? Or, oh, could you do that for me? Or whatever, you know. Like, some women do do that. Like, not me. And, you know, it used to be, like, a good thing. But now it's, like, seen as bad. Like, I understand what you mean. Yeah, they're like, "Oh, it's a masculine trait now." What's the mask? Asking for help? Like just being able to do stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my like, gosh! Like seriously, though, they're all Poor, like incapable women. Yeah, they're like, we want women to be fit, feminine, and friendly. They say fit, feminine. That's what they say. Yeah. And they Ugh. they don't want like if I do something for myself, that's viewed as masculine, and if I stand up for myself, it's masculine. Oh, I... is this from the same people that think men shouldn't touch their own face? Wait, what? Is that a thing? Oh no! Hold on. <laughs> yes. Wait, why can't you touch your own face? Because that's what girls do, like when they're surprised. <laughs> oh, he's coming for me. Oh, gosh darn it. I thought it would be uh, easier yeah. this way. That was wrong. Couldn't I mean, they're, they're definitely the fellas is a gay kind of people. <laughs> like, yeah. fellas is a gay to love a woman. Like, because, like, <laughs> a, like, apparently, like, even if you're doing a woman, if you're doing it wrong, you're, you're still gay. <laughs> so stupid. Like, I literally saw, like, a thing, uh, and I, I don't think it was satire. I don't think it was. I don't know, man. <laughs> There's a but, lot a lot I don't understand in this world. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, some people are just mad at women. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm, uh... Whew, grateful for the women in history. <laughs> Happy Who's... Women's History Month, everybody! <laughs> That's right, Women's History Month. Hey, stop it! <laughs> I better, I better post this video soon. <laughs> right. We're like Happy Women's History Month. They're like it's May. What are you... <laughs> <What's> <laughs> Wait, like, isn't it May? And isn't this like the fifth time he's beat Contra? <laughs> <laughs> Fourth. <laughs> Amazing though. Like <laughs> you just... could like splice this together and get our greatest hits from all like five. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're like, oh, in this run through, like we uh, talk about future oh, okay. in space, and then like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what if we? So to summarize, so uh, misogyny is bad. <laughs> Treating women as equals is good. Um, Futurama's funny. <laughs> Religion can be harmful. Right. Um, video games with men running around with no shirts and bandanas on and machine guns are flipping awesome. <laughs> Did we talk about anything else? Holy moly. Uh, yeah. We talked, we talked about the Japanese language and, um... Japanese is hard. <laughs> Japanese is hard. Uh, Eris has had some... Less than desirable voice actresses Aww. in the past, but it's going good now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, um, you know, like back in the d days, like 
when like you know games came from Japan, but like nobody really like. It was a different era. It was a different era where nobody really like cared that much. Nobody cared. It's so interesting to look back on. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, just to think about it, like how hard would it have been? It, it blows my mind. How hard would it have been to like just get someone to like grab a random American off the street and be like, hey, can you just give us a quick read over, a read through? <laughs> Then you wouldn't have ended up with all oh, your base or belong to us. Right. Like, yeah. I would do it for free. Whatever. Right. <laughs> hey, yeah, I gotta, exactly. need a period here. Hold yeah. <laughs> you know, like the tiniest amount of proofreading. <laughs> and it is just like, you'd think that that would be easy. Cause it's literally just like, it's not voice acting. It's not like you're like, Oh my God, now I have to rehire a voice actor or whatever. You know what I mean? It was just like yeah. erase the extra Y here and <laughs> add a R there. <laughs> on you're done like you know this it could it shouldn't have been that hard yeah <laughs> but yeah. it's a different era so i know what you mean yeah yeah like they just didn't care it's like whatever oh i also <laughs> learned recently so there were some games where they just didn't uh they didn't put in the full effort but there are other games i mean every game when a translator when a japanese and english translator received the script i learned recently that they didn't get a script. They got a like just a pile of text strings, and they're uh -huh. like, "Okay, trans these, translate these from Japanese into your language." And so, they had no idea like story or flow or what came after what. Right. Was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that with the um, Sonic Adventure. Uh voice actors too is that they just oh, gave no. them a bunch of things and they, so they had like no context they didn't know what was <laughs> happening and so like one of the scenes were like um you're fighting knuckles oh no like well, exactly <laughs> like, oh, no. like exactly every time you hit him he was supposed to say oh no well you well you <laughs> say he was supposed to say oh no but because they didn't know like they just got this line okay say oh no and so uh -huh. like the guy the guy just went oh no so it's like in the fight like you're you're fighting you know and then like you just fight knuckles and every time you hit him he just goes oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no wait okay that's funny i feel bad for the voice actor and knuckles but i'm super curious like what's the context where oh no would not be said i don't know yeah, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe it was like um, the line was like, "Oh no, let's go here." Oh no, oh, you know, like something oh, like, I see what you mean. Right, or it's like not or, as dire. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it was Robotnik this whole time. <laughs> yeah. That's a good knuckle. Okay, I get. Oh, is it? I don't, I don't know if I've ever heard knuckles. <laughs> Whoa, let's get some. Oh, I thought that was. Um, okay, never mind. I thought like on that big like gravestone looking thing it said R R, and I was like let's get some R and R, but it's just weird stuff. <laughs> it's alien. It's alien language. Ooh. He's got teeth though. <laughs> teeth like show us, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> He's got teeth like this, <laughs> and eyes like this. It's like a bug, though. It looks like a praying mantis. Oh, so I've been working so hard trying to think of a uh, what theme I want for the game I want to make next. Yeah, it's this. It is like this, right? Um, <laughs> this is the uh, the basis because this these two stages here, right? Like what you're what I'm playing right now. I love these stages. I wish I could play a whole game like this, mm -hmm. uh, but it's only the two stages. So it's kind of the the premise of uh, the game I want to make. But no, I couldn't think of a theme. Like what theme? And I was going through all the tropes that I'm so tired of. Like, oh no, the enemies look like bugs. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. So you don't want buggy, buggy, buggy people. I do not want buggy people. I'm prejudiced <laughs> against bug aliens in video games. I'm right. tired of them. Too many. But do you want aliens? They're stealing our jobs. Sorry. Our jerbs. <laughs> <laughs> do i want aliens oh i haven't decided uh no i wasn't planning on doing aliens no is it gonna be like you know <laughs> like this like dudes with bandanas or is it gonna be like cutesy 
It could be. It'd be a throwback to the 90s right there, or 80s, I guess. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, my God. Can you believe that? Like, I was trying to tell my mom about this story because I was telling her about um, our the Blindfold Mario run, and I was like, yeah, I think I talk about uh, the first time I saw Duck Hunt or whatever. Oh, yeah. And I was like, um, you know, and I, I told her the memory, and she was like, Oh yeah, no, I remember that that lady, you know. Yeah. And uh-oh. like you know, we were talking about it and then she's just like, But I only took you there once. Whoa. Core a new core memory. <laughs> yeah. It was just like she was like, Well, it was the woman she used to live across the street from us and then she moved, so we visited her. We only visited once. That's awesome. And apparently, um, if anyone's watching this who watched my other story about this, apparently the little girl that I mentioned uh, playing with, yeah, yeah. she bit me in the arm. <laughs> apparently, she on the one time, me. the one time you went over. No, that was our that was our history. <laughs> we had history. Oh my god! But. Yeah, like, because we were, we were trying to think, like, when was that? Because I told her, like, another memory from that night. I was like, well, later on that night, um, and I realized I was wrong with that story. That okay, wasn't... well, now you got a chance to set us straight. <laughs> it wasn't the first time I, um... <laughs> I'm just imagining, if you're going to, like, come out with these videos, it's going to be literally, like, Contra March. Gotcha. <laughs> like you got enough videos to take up all of March. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, um, because I remembered another memory, and I was like, on the ride home, I had the Burger King Happy Meal Koopa. Oh, the, uh-huh. the Koopa one where you push, you squeeze the air pressure thing, and oh, you, yeah, yeah. you walked. Like I had that, and I was like playing with it in the back seat, and I was like. Huh. I was like, so that would that would mean it was Mario Three, which came out after Mega Man Two. Oh, you're piecing all together. Yeah, I was like, which means it had to have been after I had a Nintendo. So. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. So I, I guess like. I guess she must have just had Duck Hunt and I didn't have Duck Hunt or something. Oh, uh, could and, be. Yeah, I don't think that was the first time I saw Nintendo. It might have just been the first time I saw Duck Hunt. But, yeah, like, and so me and my mom are sitting there like, what year is that? What year is that? And I was like, uh, well. Oh, uh, 1989. Oh, my God. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> well, that's what we were, that's what we were, like, kind of grouping together. We're like, oh, it's probably got to be, like, you know, late 80s, like. Because <laughs> I remember <laughs> I had come home after we went to see her that night. And um, my dad was super mad. Super mad. Why yeah. is he super mad? Because we, we, no, cause we walked in the door and we were like really loud and excited. Oh. And, and um, he was recording a song. Oh, like holding the microphone up to the No. No. He was singing? Oh, he's a singer. Yeah. My dad oh, my dad sang, he played guitar and he played keyboard. He was a musical man. And he was doing a thing where he was recording he wanted to record a whole song. Yes, yeah, so, recording separate parts. Yeah, so he was recording separate parts and it was like a special tape that he had gotten. Oh. Where you could record over and over and over and just add layers. Whoa. So he was doing that and he was trying to make a song that he had made completely, you know, by himself. Yeah. And like we had just walked in. <laughs> Me and my sister were like, hey! you know, like <laughs> being being kids, you know? Yeah. And like so when we like did that, we ruined not only his recording he was doing at the time, but he couldn't get rid of that now oh no so the whole recording was ruined oh no and i don't think he ever like did forgave you no 
<laughs> no, I think he forgave me. I don't think that he ever recorded that song. Mm. Like I think I think after that he just gave up and didn't do it. <laughs> wow. The four <laughs> digital recordings. Yeah, That's you so know. Weird. Like as someone who records myself singing a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> like, yeah, I couldn't imagine. Like, I just go, oh, okay, I don't like that one. Go back, re record it. <sighs> yeah, bloop. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it must have been really, really tough back then. But, oh, the bad yeah. Old days. Yeah. Me and my dad have the same musical dreams. <laughs> I lost my machine gun. Oh no, you got a pea shooter. I want you to know, Sam, up to what? this point, I am very proud to say I have not been using turbo. Whoa! I did mm. see you I did see your mash face. <laughs> like that. <laughs> you had your, you were like showing your controller. You're like Well yeah. I don't wanna I don't want to be holding it under the desk while I'm mashing it, because that can look awkward. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I get, I get what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you're Whoa. picking up what I'm laser. putting down? <laughs> yeah, this is the laser weapon. Oh, it's, it's a laser. Okay. It's, well, it's complicated. <laughs> Those bombs don't do much. Sure. So, the laser button... So, if I hold the turbo button... So... It's actually shooting like a stream of bullets really fast, which is oh. cool. But you can't like mash the button or else right. it'll cuz it'll cancel your bullets. So Right, yeah. It has its benefits and drawbacks. It should be really good on this guy. Where is he? Yeah, Where is he? Like that's just oh, a bad design, right? Wait. Well, no. Oh no. Like cuz I mean, Crap. you'd think we would be able to figure it out by now. Cuz like you see Let's... like speedrun things where they're all like they talk about like stuff exactly like this, where it's like you have to push the button at an exact certain time, or it'll lose the input or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like people like, you know, trying to make sure they get the exact right rhythm. It's like, how come the people who made turbo controllers couldn't figure out <laughs> like well, at what speed to make it press to get it to you know actually do what you want it to do? You know what I just... mean? <laughs> sure. It was just that one weapon in this one game. No, it wasn't. What? Like, Mega Man was the same thing. You held down the turbo, and he shot three lemons. And that <laughs> oh, was it. Oh. Uh, I guess I know what you mean. Yeah. Just three lemons. That's all you get. That's all you get. Three lemons. Ooh, Ooh. right in the face. Come, Mr. Tallyman, tally me lemon. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop, Sam. My thumb's getting tired. Okay. That was my my fourth run or fifth run. I don't know. Right. So, um, yeah, I imagine you got the high score. <laughs> like, Across... does it just does it just keep like your score just keeps building as you keep mm -hmm. replaying? No, so no? it does. Oh no, it does. It does until I get a game over. I'm sorry, a game over with no continues. So that score on the screen is from my first two times through the game. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, there you go. I probably got a. It's probably the new record. <laughs> I 